Welcome back to another Longshot StarCraft 2 broadcast with your host, Longshot here. And I have here both two casters here. That's right, I have Blind and Kaleido here. Gonna be casting this 1v1 on Slag Pits. What's up, guys? What's going on, Longshot? I'm not a fucking caster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna go great. Yes, I'm so excited. Is, I am too. This is gonna be epic. Thank you, Blind, oh, for joining. Mo just loaded all his SCVs into his command center. Oh, I did not <laughs> catch wow. that. Oh, I wish I caught that. Oh, my gosh. I started at uh, Skin I Jobs heard base. that, the fucking noise. Oh. Yeah, he loaded every <laughs> single starting SCV into his command center. Sad day for him. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's just brutal. I'm going to lose. That's right. <laughs> I was going to spam <laughs> chat. <laughs> Woo. How do I spam Get chat? Starting already. Do spam chat. How do I do that? We didn't make you a ref, so you can't actually. Yeah, do. you can't. You uh, can't spam uh. chat. But <laughs> <laughs> I think that would have been the best thing ever, because <laughs> then it would have been he's just blind, being like he's building roaches. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'll just I'll just fucking make it abstract and shit. No, you would just actually you would type this distractions. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I come up with something else new. That's right. <laughs> All That's right. old school. That's right, old school, huh? <laughs> well, the Overlord is being sent over to uh, Moe's base as well as the SCV. These are actually quite close positions. Was that correct? Yes, that's very close attack position. I Not a good place for the Zerg, but also very, very difficult for the Terran to take his expo here without getting very far out with his army to get the choke that's further out. Definitely. So, a lot of possibility of Zergling swing bys, but also difficult for the Zerg to take his, his natural that's right there because it's such a short attack distance. Definitely. And you know what? <laughs> Bad Muffle also always going to be putting down his two barracks and Absolutely. his one supply depot just for that wall in. But that the one drone is not able to pick off that. Uh, oh my gosh. That, trying so hard. That hero <laughs> SCV has only five life left in him, and he's still trucking along building that barracks. Oh man. That's I actually don't understand this because two racks is always an aggressive opening. You know what? But actually, Mo, he has different transitions. What he does is he'll go like two racks into uh, a quick expansion, but we haven't seen him do that in the past couple games because he's always on the defensive with uh, Skin Job knocking right. at his front door. But it's also super safe to go one racks expand. That's the standard. So getting that extra barracks usually implies you're going to get more marines and push just to get that early timing, force them to make some zerglings. But when you scout this opening where it's speedlings first, gas first, into pool, always going to be speedlings, your initial push is going to be so un unsuccessful it's not worth even doing it. So you need to adjust your build order immediately upon scouting that. No. I uh, now I want to okay. Now with that thought in mind, I want to ask Blind because he's a Zerg player and he knows uh, definitely some builds and actually ways to counterattack this. What do you think? Nah, man, just bailing. That's it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Simple. Why, why like, is fucking? Uh, well, Mo, we are like, gonna see gas. bailings coming down. I know, right? So. I don't know. Two gas with Mo, man. I never. Uh, I don't know how he plays. Yeah, Mo's putting down two gas. I don't know if he's gonna be getting some higher. Yeah, he's throwing down that factory. <laughs> Well, it's again an interesting opening. Uh, he's spotting all of these Zerglings with this SCV. The SCV is going to try to come in. I don't think so. I think he's done for. Yep. <laughs> oh, but they're knocking at his base. Oh, is he going to lose any of the Zerglings? One Zergling goes down. Two Zerglings go down. Three, all the four. Zerglings. Oh, oh he only saved one with four barely Zerglings. any health. What is that? Like 100 minerals right there? Gone? Oh, yeah, man. just about. Sad That's day. A and oh, now he's making two bailings. Bailings. He's got three, three bailings. bailings. Three bailings. Three bailings. He's gonna Fine. be pushing up. <laughs> do you think he's actually gonna be make? Hey, so blind. Honestly, do you think he's actually gonna be pushing through this huge wall? Uh, no. Okay. So then, if you if if he saw this, do you uh, think waste. This yeah, right. So <laughs> why would he even go up this at all? I mean, unless he can break through right right now. Oh. Uh, uh, I, no. Yeah, absolutely. When you scout that sort of front, when it's tons of buildings like and supply this. depots, you know. shouldn't be attempting a baneling bust at this point. No. I mean, this is just such a huge mistake. Like, this, this I do not be... see how this is going to go well. The the Marines are just going to do so much DPS behind that wall. They're probably going to take out a couple of banelings before it even hits, and then <laughs> you're not going to get through anyway. Like, there's so much wall you have to get through before you can do damage. 
Definitely. I just don't. I don't agree with this move at all. Yeah. Finally taking his expo though, so that's good. Yeah. So, but you know, so is this a good timing for the expo blind, or uh, should he have done this earlier? Because you know, making those banelings, he could have used that it's, money. It's late. It's definitely late. It's definitely yeah, it's late. a little late. Mm. But it. I don't know. It's not much attacking going on right now. But yeah, but but he can't even <laughs> put. He can't push out because he knows that there's there's the zerglings knocking at the door. He's probably going to be assuming that there's banelings there. Uh, you know, for the fact that those those zerglings have not come up his ramp again. So <laughs> there it is. Yeah, yeah, he's like, I'm surprised he hasn't busted happen yet. So. And now he's selecting the banelings. Is he gonna push in or run away? That's uh, dude, that's not cost effective. No. That shit. No, it's not. Our siege is almost done. A siege tank is almost finished. Siege just finished. He this doesn't is, have stim now, though, so this is now he over. can surround. Yeah. No, this this is now completely over. I mean, this bust needs to go home and not just sit here. <laughs> I mean, I'll uh, mind that shit. This needs Clicking to go bro. home immediately. I'll help him. I'm clicking bro. <laughs> I'll work it. Oh, and Mo gets the scan off. I'm not sure if he sees those buildings, though, in the back. I mean, that might be the, a bad... Oh, but he is definitely going to be putting the move on. Let's see yeah, he what... sees all the buildings. Oh, yeah, he sees, yeah, he's got all the buildings. One Marine coming out. One uh, scout marine. You know that's actually a wise see decision. The banelings. Is it gonna be? Is it? Is two? Is two? Oh, banelings? he doesn't see the banelings. Uh, <laughs> oh, but one banelings choice. Oh, two banelings for Bailing. one marine. Oh, move that's out. Terrible. <laughs> oh my now gosh. Now he's retreating. Yeah, he knows now that he is gonna be seriously behind. Let's check the food count. Actually, they're at even. That evil, even yes. Yeah. I didn't have the overlay up. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Control D, Mac. Control D. Control D. Oh no 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 no. I do productions. <laughs> <laughs> my my favorite overlay is Control W. It just takes everything. What the fuck is that? Oh. that is, yeah, that's great. I love that. One. <laughs> that's my favorite overlay. Nothing. No overlay. Nah, Alt F4, man. That's the best. <laughs> <laughs> Alt F4. <laughs> you can even do that in your web browser. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Do it while you're watching this video. It'll go great. Yeah. We promise. I uh, dub, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we suggest that for all videos. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And actually, if you're winning a game and you want to do a like a, like a dance move with your Marines, hit Alt F4. It, it works every time. <laughs> it works every time. I swear. I think uh, Zerg should expand again. He got all yeah, that money. I, I absolutely agree with that. <laughs> yeah, he's got. But Mo has all that money too. Build another <laughs> fucking command center in there. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't even planted down his first expansion yet. But you know what? He for he, he could take this expansion and actually put it at the gold. And actually, he could put it like on the outside where the where not where the destructible rocks are, but where close to the gas, and oh, yeah. he still went nowhere that it's there because that overlord placement is just way out of position. Yeah, I agree. I think the overlord should definitely be behind the mineral line because you always want to spot by seeing when the mining starts because that's when the expansion starts to kick in. That's the most important part. So if you can just spot and you're super super safe if you're in the cliff because nothing except air is going to be able to get to you. Yeah. I think way better placement than if you're sitting awkwardly in the middle here where any marine that walks up is going to take this out yeah and you know i think mo's just i mean he's got he's got some good production facilities up he's got four racks he's got the one uh factory he's got the starport but i think he needs to start doing some overlord hunting with some like vikings and stuff like that just to get those scouts out of Absolutely. the way one viking <clears throat> yeah that's Jeff's all you need. don't overcommit to vikings you don't need that many vikings against zerk but one Viking just to clear out a couple overlords and maybe do some scouting in the main if he doesn't have any kind of anti-air yet. Yeah, definitely. Very important to do that. I completely, completely agree with that. Oh, but now I guess... Oh, this is going to be interesting. So Sick Job is actually going to be taking out the Destructible Rocks. And, you know, I always like to get all hyped up about the Destructible Rocks. So the Destructible <laughs> Rocks are actually going to be taking out... Oh, but it saves and survives and no! He but he has a medevac out. spotting I, I his know. one. I know, and you know what? Let's see that, if he notices. And of course he is. Let's I mean, see if he notices. But in, uh, I'm going to go to his view. Oh, the, ba see yeah, the bad He's mofo. checking the rocks. Oh, that was a hidden spire it. at the back, Looking by the at way. at the front. Yeah, you know, and yeah, I like fire's this. Fire's about to finish. But even if this hidden spire goes up, most still's got those. Like, how many? He's got three. Uh, you know, it's missile turrets. Marines, two. Yeah, yeah, he has more than enough <laughs> missile turrets and marines to handle that. Yeah, in not spades. a not a problem. But he does need to expand again. 
He's got. He's banking on 500 Here minerals comes. right now. He's attacking the rocks. No, he pulled away. Well, yep, because <laughs> that uh, that medevac has actually got that that vision for that tank. So I don't know, man, yeah, but there's know. like a yeah. big ass mule like on the back of the mofo's natural. Oh, this one here. <laughs> there's like a big ass mule back there. I don't know. <laughs> he's he's looking for me minerals. <laughs> <laughs> the overlights. It's not here. <laughs> Oh, but, but uh, I think this is a good move by Skinja, putting down his third expansion, trying to get ahead in the economy. I think um, this is extremely late. As uh, Blind said earlier, obviously he had plenty of time to not only knock down these gold rocks, but take the base that's right next to you that you have spotting on, and you have your spire here. Definitely he should be doing that. I think and he, he has roaches, which take down rocks so, so quickly. Yeah, but you know he's not utilizing his uh, roaches if it effectively, and what I mean by that is he really should be taking out these destructible rocks and Absolutely. actually and actually putting down his fourth expansion just to get that much farther ahead of the turn. He has plenty of time and possibility to do it, so I don't I don't see why you wouldn't just do that. Yeah, but you know, bad mofo. I don't know. Maybe he's going to be going this heavy marauder army. He's got a lot of, uh, well, he's got two, two re tech labs and... I don't see any marauders on the map. Is there? Phil doesn't have stim, Oh, too. never mind. Oh, so... Yeah, I don't see a single oh. marauder. This is actually the classic... Actually... Classic composition. <laughs> oh, research marine, for him. Marine, marine tank, tank medevac, man. That's all you need against Zerg. I don't know why oh, he's even making this many Vikings. Out. Land sharks. Oh, oh, oh! But does <laughs> he need detection at the front? Here comes the roaches. <laughs> oh, he has vision because of the missile turret that's right there. Oh, the tank no, see it. Oh, 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 no, so many roaches. Those roaches are going to be going down. Oh, that's such a huge mistake. I can't believe that. Just that's. He has supply block though. What happened? But you know what? But Did the mutus come in and grab a supply depot? No, not at all. I mean, he actually just lost like. Let's see. What, maybe he actually. How did Mofo get to 114 to 110? <laughs> oh, you know what? I don't understand He's, this. I, I understand this. You know what he did? He sieged. He has a siege. He had a bunch of Marines there, and he actually got. He actually took out some of his uh, Marines from the siege tanks, pummeling down on the roaches because the roaches were underneath his forces, and so he started a pummeling uh, his Marines, and he actually lost How'd a few Marines. How did he lose the supply depot? How did he lose the supply depot? Yeah. Magic, I know. Uh, it's, it's, magic, it's, it's, magic disappearing supply depot. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Perfect. Well, Mofo knows the third exists. So. Yeah. Yep. Scouting the third there. Gosh. So I mean, he's gonna be going. We have. Let's see. What? What's the units right now? We've got what? I don't know how Skin Job always has one Zergling on the field. Oh, now he's got like two. Hold on. Hold on. Thirty-nine Zerglings. Wow. How come, so how come, Zerglings how, being made. How come I'm the only one that always spots that? I don't understand. He always has one <laughs> Zergling. I'm like, why does he have one? Okay, now he's popping out a billion more. He's got 23 roaches, four banelings, three queens. I think he needs more queens. His creep spread is horrible. Yeah, it needs to get is that fourth. Terrible. Needs to get just. I mean, I'd say he needs to have uh, a, a queen at the front. You know, pushing that creep spread. You know, all over the map. Just ab absurd amount of creep. Because he's just. I I'm, can't stress enough how important that is against a Terran player. If I don't know. Hit squad's get, going up. If you can get creep to the front of his base. Sure, he can clean it up with scans, but one, he has to waste scans doing it. And two, your units are so much more useful the whole time he's pushing towards...